so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We want to describe a function g of x in terms of f of x if the graph of g of x is obtained by vertically stretching the graph of f of x by a factor of three, then shifting the graph left two units and down four units compared to the graph of f of x. So because g of x is a transformation of f of x, we can write g of x in this form here, where the values of a, b, c, and d transform the graph of f of x. And in our case, because we have a vertical stretch, we need to find the value of a, and then because we have a shift left two units, we have to determine the value of c. And because we have a shift downward four units, we need to find the value of d. So our function g of x will be in the form of g of x equals a times f of the quantity x plus c plus d. So let's review some notes on vertically stretching a graph, as well as shifting a graph left or right, or up or down. So for vertical stretches and compressions, we'll assume d is greater than one. The graph of g of x, the graph of g of x equals d times f, the graph of g of x equals d times f of x, is the graph of f of x stretched vertically by a factor of d. And since our graph is stretched vertically by a factor of three, d is three, meaning a is equal to three. It's also true the graph of g of x equals one over d, times f of x, but it's also true that g of x equals one over d times f of x is the graph of f of x vertically compressed by a factor of one over d. But in our case, we have d equal to three or a equal to three. And then for our shift left, if a graph is shifted left or right, then the value of c is either positive or negative. If the value of c is negative or less than zero, the graph is shifted right c units this is probably the opposite direction you might think. So if it's x minus c, it's right c units. And if c is positive or greater than zero, the graph is shifted left c units. So we'll have f of the quantity x plus c, which is the case for us. If our graph is shifted left c units, c will be positive two. And our graph is also shifted down four units. If d is negative or less than zero, the graph is shifted down d units. So in our case, the graph is shifted down four units. So we'll have f of x minus d, or d is going to be negative four. If d is positive, the graph is shifted up d units. So we'd have f of x plus d. So going back to our example, because it's stretched vertically by a factor of three, a is equal to three. And because our graph is shifted left two units, c is going to be positive two. And because it shifted down four units, d is going to be negative four. Which means g of x is equal to three times f of the quantity x plus c, or x plus two. And then instead of plus negative four, we'll write minus four. This would be our function g of x. Now let's verify this by taking a look at the basic square root function and then changing the value of a to three c to two and d to negative four to see if it does transform the function in the way we expect. So here we're starting with the basic square root function. We'll first change a to three, which should stretch it vertically by a factor of three. Notice it is vertically stretching it. And then when a is equal to three, we do have a vertical stretch by a factor of three. We know this because the parent square root function would have the point one, one, or this point here. Notice how now when x is one, the output is three, three times as large. And now we said if c is positive two, the graph will go left two units. So let's change c to positive two. Notice how when c is positive, the function is moving left. So when the input is, the quantity x plus two, or c is positive two, the graph has moved left two units. And now we'll change d to negative four to see if it goes down four units. 
You notice as we decrease d, or when d is negative, the graph is shifted down, as we expected. So here's d equals negative 4. So our transformation is correct. I hope you found this helpful.